What's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a rusted old axe and we're going to make it awesome. Let's get started. So I found this axe, like all things, while demoing a house, and my tool hoarder tendencies wouldn't let me let it go. So the first thing I wanted to do was see if the handle could actually hold up to some abuse. And as you can see here, well, not, not really. So the axe itself seemed pretty nice, but its effectiveness was limited without a handle. This only meant one thing, to the barn. plank all sorted out. So this stuff's pretty rough on as you can see. Some of this has been planed, but this piece isn't too bad. But I flipped it around so I could take a look at the other side and check out what I found. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but the great the grain is totally straight. This may be the only completely flat sawn piece that I have in this stack, which is crazy. That means we're gonna chop it up. So with the Astra handle all sorted out, that just left the daunting task of trying to fit in my Corolla. Which I passed with flying colors, by the way. <laughs> so for the shape of the handle, I went with a pretty conventional design. But I added a slightly more curved section down at the bottom of the handle to catch the hand as you swing. And I figured the more curvy things in my life, the better. So if you follow my channel at all, you'll know I love my Shinto Rasp. Seriously guys, get one. I, I prefer over a belt sander for carving stuff like this. I'm not sponsored at all, it's just a really, really useful product. I really highly suggest it. You're probably asking yourself, Carl, why don't you buy just spend $10 and buy a handle at the hardware store? I don't have a good answer for you. At all. So we were on to working on the head of the axe. So I've tried every way possible to get wood out of axe heads and really everyone's different. 
On this one, you can see they did this kind of ridiculous uh, steel wedge, which made impossible drill out the wood like I would normally recommend. What I ended up having to do was pry this thing out and then beat it out with a little scrap piece of ash. And as you can see, it actually worked pretty decent. Grind away on this thing, I found some pretty cool stuff. Up here at the top, I'll show you some close ups, but it says it has the letters K A T C O and it says it's three and a half pounds. I'll have to wait and see how much it's been ground down over the years. But CATCO stands for King Axe and Tool Company. It was a axe maker from Oakland, Maine, actually. And they made axes between their you know really early 1900s, like 1907 or something like that, all the way into the 1940s. So pretty cool. I have no idea where this axe is from, but cool little piece of main, uh, main memorabilia. According to this axe forum, which is, as you know, the source of all wisdom in the world, uh, King Axe and Tool Company was founded, or rather was changed to King Axe and Tool Company in 1907, and they stopped making axes in 1946. So this axe is probably about 100 years old or more. Pretty cool, huh? It's actually an old axe that's <laughs> over 100 years old, possibly. I feel, I feel like I have to try to do my best to keep this original branding and everything else and do my best to actually restore it. Ah. Responsibility sucks. <laughs> So at this point, the axe was pretty much ready to be hung. It just needed a little bit more fine tuning at the top of the handle to make sure the axe head would slide on.
little bit of time, but the axe is finally done. I'm really, really pleased with how this thing came out. It feels great in the hand. The handle feels wonderful. This little flare at the end really catches it while you swing. The weight of the axe is perfect. It's th three and a quarter pounds, not three and a half, like I said earlier. And it's just a perfect little felling axe, little boy's axe, whatever you want to call it. But this is going to ride in the truck of my car for the foreseeable future. This will be my new car, uh, car axe. What? You don't have an axe in your car? Weirdo. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe to the channel. I hope you all have a great day. See you soon.